beautiful day, girls. I never had a, a dog when I was a kid. I never had any animals. I, I mean, I didn't want the responsibility. And now what happened, you know, now we have eight elephants and 26 tigers, and it's, it's overwhelming. If, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it all the way. Pat Derby and I were the founders of PAWS 27 years ago. Almost, Almost 20 28 eight. years ago. We really didn't have a plan of having a big sanctuary. We were trying to fix something for the animals that I had had. So we built something for them and then people came and more animals came. Then you're so busy picking up poop and every day you're thinking, oh, we need more space. We're running out of space. We found this place and it was like somebody said, okay, big mouth, you wanted it, now do something. You know? Now, 27 years later, we have 2,300 acre property. It's an incredible place. It's like a state park. It has lakes, it has a river. We have some of the biggest elephant enclosures in the world. And I remember the days we were laying out the lines for the fence with the construction company and Pat was on a walkie talkie and I was up on the top of the hills. You know, we didn't know how much it was gonna cost. We didn't know how big it was gonna be. We just thought, well, if we can go a little farther, a little farther, so we'll keep going, keep going. And then I'd pound the stake in the ground and then we'd move it back another 50 feet. Okay. Probably the most exciting part of what we do is taking any animal, a lion, a bear, an elephant, who's been confined in a tiny space and putting them out on grass with trees. And boy. Good boy, Come on, buddy. It just is so exciting to see their reaction to just grass and trees and space. You live for moments where they act like a real elephant. You know, the old elephants that have a hard time getting around because they're arthritic when they sleep on the side of the hill. I mean, really, that's why we built this place, is so an old elephant who's never had grass could just sleep on the side of the hill. It's pretty simple. No matter how cranky you are, how badly you feel, or what a bad day you've had so far. You just walk in an elephant barn and look at those faces and it all goes away. It's like everything's okay, not a problem. We're all good here, it's fine. People complain a lot if they're sick animals don't whine. The way they accept sickness and problems, some of it rubs off on you. I wish more of it did. But... Before I knew elephants, I figured they're all basically the same. You know, they, they all like the same things. They all act the same way. Nothing could be farther from the truth because each one is not just different, but completely different from the others. Trees, carrots, apples, all of their diets have to be custom made. Lulu loves artichokes and asparagus. She's from San Francisco. She has this dilettante taste. At first, if you're treating them or trimming feet, they sort of pull away. But then it becomes, ooh, I've got three people here. One is soaking my foot. One is feeding me jelly bellies. <laughs> and the other is helping. This is kind of fun. They're all so special. And this place is really theirs. Ed and I are taking care of it, but it 
people on the, to the um, 